Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. So can you guess what I'm going to talk about in this video? Shellac. Yes. What is this product? Why do I use it? So I'm on to my next phase with that antique vanity that I've been working on. That first video I showed you how I fixed the peeling veneer and how I wood puttied it all around the top. The second video I sanded it down. I'm going on to my next phase of this project and that's applying shellac to the bottom part of the vanity that I'll be painting. So after I apply shellac, I will paint the bottom portion of this vanity along with the mirror and along with the drawers. But before I can paint it, I have to provide a barrier between that dark wood, that mahogany wood, and my paint. And the reason being, it's called bleed through. So think of shellac as kind of like a giant maxi pad for your furniture. <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but it's the only way I can explain it. So a lot of times with dark furniture, like mahogany and cherry colored, if you paint it a light color like white, gray, beige, or a light blue, you'll come back after you paint it and you'll see these like bleed through spots uh, where like old stains on the furniture come to the surface or you'll get like cherry colored, nasty, gross looking pigments coming through your beautiful fresh paint. Um, so in the past, I tried every product out there to um, stop this from happening. I tried kills. I tried priming my piece first. I tried spray paint. I couldn't find anything that would work until I stumbled across shellacking. So a little bit of history of shellac, which I just recently found out and I thought, what? I'll share it with you guys. Um, when I was researching shellac, it is a natural product. And get this, it's from, <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. It's from, <laughs> I can't even say it. It's from Nash, um, <laughs> natural secretions from a bug called the lac bug. And this bug is found in the forests of India and Thailand. And so they use the secretions from that bug along with like a solvent like alcohol and they make shellac. So basically, if I was the marketing person for shellac, I'd put a big old bug on this and I'd call it bug juice. Bug juice, I mean, yeah, that's what I would call it. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how I apply the shellac. It's very, very simple. It's just like painting your piece of furniture. I use a two inch cheap chip brush. Um, I did use a foam brush in the past and I found I couldn't get the foam brush foam brush into like the crevices of my pieces of furniture. So I switched to using a chip brush and I find that works better. Also um, with shellac, you will ruin any brush that you use the shellac in because it'll harden like crazy. So just use a cheap brush, but make sure it's clean and new because um, you don't want to be putting whatever else was on your old brush onto your piece of furniture. So what I do is, you know, I open it up the can and then I stir it up with um, a stirring stick and then I just apply it. I apply a real thin layer of it um, and I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna show you how I start to apply it on a piece of furniture. So I'm gonna bring my camera down to the level of where you can see me apply it. Everyone say hi to Biscuit, my little workshop buddy. Yep, we've got the heater on here in the workshop. Um, I do have the window open just a little bit because shellac does have a little bit of an odor. And granted, it's only like 30 degrees here in New Hampshire today. Woo woo! Spring has arrived, people. Um, so yeah, it's a little cold here today. So I'm gonna stir up my can of shellac. Like I said, it is a little stinky. It just has like an amber color. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Basically, it's translucent, but it does have a little bit of a color to it. So I'm gonna dip it in my brush in the can. And like I said, you wanna apply this just a thin layer. Again, you're just creating a barrier between your paint and the piece of furniture. You don't wanna go super hog wild applying this because it will drip and run. And if you let those, um, drip marks dry like that they will appear 
when you start to paint your furniture, you'll see them. So you just want to apply a thin layer. It's very glossy when it goes on. You'll easily be able to see where you've applied it and where you have it. It dries super fast. It usually dries within, I would say, like a half hour after you applying it. So you can see where I'm applying it right here along this area. And I just want to make sure I get in all those crevices and grooves. And the chip brush allows me to do that. I hope you're getting this. Um, so around the ornate pieces, you really just kind of have to wiggle your brush in there to make sure you're getting all of your bug juice, I mean your shellac covered. Super simple. And you only put one layer of this on. I find that's sufficient. And once you do that, and you let it dry for like about a half hour, then you can start to apply your paint. And I'm painting this piece a beautiful uh, white color. It's called Crisp Linen by Valspar. It's in the white family, obviously, crisp linen. And I'll show you guys a picture of it. Usually when my clients come to look for customers, they always want uh, white for their furniture. It's very popular, but I find when I put my white sample colors on a board, you can see there's varying degrees of white. Um, we've got some gray whites over here. The central part here is more of my true whites, and over here I have more beige colors. But my crisp linen, you can see from this board, is this color actually here. So it's not a super ultra white, which is in the center. I really like it. It's very soft. It's almost kind of like an antique white. A lot of my customers have been very happy with the color. So I'm going to apply uh, crisp linen when I'm done shellacking this piece. I do make my own chalk paint. Um, that'll be another video down the road. Uh, but I just want to show you guys how simple it is to apply shellac, your bug juice, to your piece of furniture. Um, if you're experiencing any type of bleed through um, with your pieces, this is a great product. It works like a charm every time I use it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have you used shellac before? Do you like it? Do you experience bleed through with your furniture pieces? Do you use a different product? What do you like? I'd love to know. Uh, so over to the left right there, you can subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.